I could stay like this Forever following you Just don't get too far And I'll be right where you are You're a dream that I could finally see Hi all, it's Kirsty from Adeline Country Cottage um, I've come back, yes I've been MIA uh, Missing in action for for a few weeks um i've been working hard on some new designs as well as a few other things um so i just wanted to um sort of before i start showing you the new journals that i have um i just want to tell a bit of a story back um a, back about 10 years ago i used to paint a lot of furniture i make my own paint chalk paint milk paint and uh, m uh another thing called mud paint um and now i used to paint a lot of furniture and i used to sell it uh quite a bit um but i actually stopped that for a while because um, I my muscles had started to deteriorate so it was very hard for me to maneuver um, the furniture around because it was all done by myself and I didn't sort of get much help doing that so but because uh, my my muscles had deteriorated um, you know I was sort of put out of action for a while and um, but because I still have that love for um, making my own paint and love the the whole painting fab uh the furniture thing um i have been watching um a beautiful girl and her husband uh jamie ray vintage and totally love the style uh, it's very up my alley um of what i used to do myself um but i can't get enough of her i always watch her i think she's fantastic and of course her husband you know he he helps her with a lot of things as well and yeah so she really inspires me and um you know i get my fix in regarding to painting furniture by watching her do it so i thought i would be inspired by um jamie ray uh with this collection and um without further ado i want to share it with you because i'm so excited how they turned out i do want to keep them all but yes of course i'm not going to <laughs> And so yes, so let's begin. These are the collections. There, I've actually made um, them all out of timber. I've painted them um, similar to the style that I used to paint, and of course, uh, the style that uh, Jamie Ray does. Now, as I said, um, these are made out of uh, timber. I've actually had them cut uh, and of, of course it took me layers upon layers to create all the, um, the the layering effect of all the different paints that I used and made um, yeah so of course and I've just used a little bit of um, wire because I wanted it to sort of have that farmhouse sort of feel um, so I've just sort of bended some florist wire to hold them together and then that way it can be reopened and add more pages in. So I'll just show you the covers. So there's this one here. So each one has a little different um, uh, motive on the, on the front. And this one here, a um, bit more of that chippy paint. Feel. actually I didn't show the back of that one so that's that and see actually see how it's all oh hang on let me get it in there see how it's got that real nice beautiful thick texture anyway so that's that one and of course this one now this one will be in the second series of my um, uh, 
farmhouse doors um, collection so this will be the second series and this one I'm actually gifting to Jamie Ray I will be sending that to her for uh, as a happy mail um, just basically to thank for all the hard work that her and her husband do and of course all the videos that they put up and how they do their furniture so yeah so i'm um, this is my favorite i uh, i'm just loving how this one turned out it really reminds me of an old farmhouse door and yeah i just love how it's completely turned out it's just really beautiful okay so we'll start by going in and they're pretty much all it's all the same inside um and they look it's pretty loose and that's what I like about it because you can add more pages and of course with the wire uh, attachment it's allowing you to add your own wire as it gets bigger if you need to so the inspiration as I said come from Jamie Ray and I was thinking when I first was, th uh, was thinking about making them um, I wanted her to be able to use it so let's say if she goes and does her little marketplace she can actually use it to write in her orders or what she wants to take or you know that sort of thing so that's pretty much what's inspired the inside of it so I'll just start with this one so I've just got an authentic uh, postcard um, which I've just sewn around the side and this one here is, uh, remember, uh, I think I showed it on Instagram, those, um, uh, all the, the different uh, ephemera, vintage ephemera that I picked up. So I've actually tea dyed the papers and then, of course, I've um, done the printing stamp um, over, over the top to create these. And so this is just a little pocket um, where you can just store stuff in. It's a little flip here and of course flip out and that's been stitched around um, and there's here date and then of course you can write in whatever you would like to put in I've just secured it with a bit of vintage wallpaper um, here's some vintage fabric dash uh, a dashboard that I made um, and I've just stitched that around on there and um, just a place to journal or perhaps write more orders or anything like that again stitching and re some reinforcements on the around the binding area and just a little um, it was uh, what do you call it um, watercolor paper and I've di I've dyed it with coffee and then I've just layered it with um, parchment paper and just sewn around the edges this was off a, an old vintage la, um, book, which was The Last Frontier, vintage wallpaper as a, you know, just to secure the, where the binding is. And that's, again, vintage wallpaper. And what I've done is, is that I've actually glued it to tracing paper. And then, of course, I've just wet the back and I've rubbed like crazy to sort of bring that right back. So to make it quite thin. Um, again, if you want to write some orders or uh, do a bit of journaling or perhaps, you know, a bullet journaling or anything like that. Just some reinforcements. I think these were from Tsunami Rose. Um, from her collection one of her printable collections and because these were just little off cuts that I had so I've just used those as reinforcements done some stitching and of course this is the same paint that I've used for the front covers uh, some vintage uh, lace which was from Susan thank you Susan and um, made that into a little pocket just a bit of reinforcement again painting page with some stitching some parchment paper, source file, um, that you know you could possibly write down where you source things from. Um, another dashboard I've made with, vin with vintage wallpaper and just added a bit of a tab. 
Um, now, this is a little flip. Now, I've actually rose dye, used rose dye, uh, sorry, rose petals and dyed this linen, um, which is quite grungy and I, I quite like the look of it. The lace, or both of these laces, are from Susan again, from, um, with, uh, I've forgotten where she's from again. Oh my god, Empor uh, Vintage Emporium. I uh, think it's called a uh, vintage emporium fabrics. Sorry, Susan, if I got that wrong, I'll pop it in underneath, you know, down here somewhere so that uh, you'll have her little link. Um, this was out of, I pulled apart an old vintage um, photo book and used that um, as a page. And just a little flip here some more paper with reinforcement and just the back so that's pretty much it, it with those um, now as I said they're all the same it would be different slightly with the vintage the real authentic vintage postcard and but generally all the pages are exactly the same um, to, to do with the same you know color of the collection so that is this pretty much as you can see it is identical now these actually took quite a while to make because of cutting up all the timber um, painting distressing sourcing out the motive to stick on the top there's another image there of a postcard authentic postcard and yeah so it's taken quite a while to actually put this together i kind of thought that it would have the insert area would have been a lot faster than a normal insert but oh it took it's taken so much longer so as i mentioned they're all pretty much the same except for the different motive and of course the uh, vintage postcard that's inside but everything else is like literally identical so that is that one now as i mentioned jamie ray this one honey is coming to you thank you for all your inspiration um i really appreciate you so much for you know um keeping me uh in the loop with all the different techniques and um you know that sort of thing wish i was closer so i can come to some of your markets but you know being in Australia makes it a bit hard. Okay, so that was that one. Now, this is the other one. This is the other vintage uh, farmhouse doors that I have done, which is a gorgeous blue. Love, love, love. Wish I could keep all of these, but, you know, of course I can't. I just love how I've created that texture to give it that real farmhouse layer upon layer look um, it's just come up really really beautiful uh, yeah so yeah I'm just so excited about them they're just beautiful just beautiful okay so inside these which is pretty much the same you know you still get that post vintage postcard except the inserts now will be blue um you know the vintage wallpaper um uh, the paint is still the paint that's on the front covers that i've used and of course stitched around more of the vintage wallpaper this is my all-time favorite favorite fabric uh yes you guys got a piece of this uh, i made into a dashboard really pretty blue um again with the stitching some reinforcement now this reinforcement is the same as that um uh, vintage uh photo album book uh it was just the off cuts so that's what i've used it for again with the vintage wallpaper the last frontier page and this one this time around i've used a napkin um on tracing paper and i've just glued it and you know it gives that sort of rustic rough kind of look uh, i like love how it's turned out again with some of those little uh discs from um tsunami rose it's actually a, di a full digi kit but as i said they're just uh, off cuts that i had 
you know, with the Mother's Day journals that I'm creating. Um, so that, yeah, so they're just the offcuts. So I thought I'd reuse those up. Some more painting and stitching. Again, another pocket. Got some uh, reinforcement here with vintage wallpaper. Um, again, with the painted and sewn pages, parchment paper, the source file, again, vintage wallpaper there. Another dashboard, vintage wallpaper. Yeah, beautiful blue, I love that. And again, with the flip, uh, the tip in um, on that uh, vintage photo album page. And of course, that's the last page. So as I said, they're all pretty much the same except the postcard, the vintage postcard is different, but yeah. And the dashboards are the same um, with the vintage wallpaper and the, the fabric. Where's the fabric one? Where's, here it is. See, there you go, that's there. And I should have made an extra one for myself, but I might do that later on. Again, the dashboard and of, of course that vintage wallpaper and a different, it's an image of a church postcard, authentic, and another one inside the church. And as I said, pretty much everything's exactly the same. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited how they turned out. I really hope that you do like them, because I do, I do. And as I said, um, these take quite a bit of time to make. Um, I do have another four in the farmhouse doors. Um, I've just got these rings on here to hold them together for the moment. So they're all done. I've just got to do all my stitching and put things together for those. So that will be changed to black stitching. So this one will come just a little bit, or uh, released a little bit later than the blue and the green. Um, so yes, so these ones, again, I'll just show you it's just that beautiful layering um, of the paint, which I think is come, it's turned out really, really fantastic. So that is though those ones that will be coming, will be released at a later date once they're finished and then of course there's uh you probably noticed um when i did my room tour and i showed you the corner where which is off that way if you remember um of my vintage wallpaper box and behind it was a board where i did this collage of all this uh, vintage wallpaper and vintage pages anyway that inspired me to do these ones so these they are uh, the papers are ready again um, to go so they will be um, be released at the same time okay we got a bit of dust in those so these ones I originally I stuck um, I stapled some pockets to um, I think they've come up really nice again with that um, rose dyed uh, linen so that will be um, they are pretty much got all the same inside. It's just got some stamping, wallpaper. It's a, the technique I used is to stick and rip, okay? And as you can see, that's this is the reason why I've changed the rings to the, the like the farmhouse wire because I found that the rings kept sticking. So, and that's the blue one. Yeah, so these will be released with the white series. Um, so, but as I mentioned, I'm loving these. I hope you guys love them too. Um, and really appreciate the hard work that I've really put into these. Um, as and I've enjoyed doing them and these are going to be my signature pieces uh, they're all as I said from timber I will be making more I might actually start putting up pre-orders uh, that you can purchase up on my website once I've got 
you know a, a, a sample ready i'll be putting them up on the website you can pre-order um or as a like a custom order type thing and that way i'll continue on working on these so again jamie ray thank you thank you thank you um oh and this is not a sponsored video by the way i just love jamie ray's work and I'm just super appreciative of all her videos um, to get my fix on painting because I can't do furniture again anymore. So this is going to be my fix to have to still have my hands in that sort of style. And this is just a little appreciation of for all the videos that you put up for me to enjoy. And of course others so i will be getting this out to the post to you very very soon so again thank you for watching everybody um sorry i've been mia and um i'm hoping to get some more listed soon and of course some more videos done for you and um give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and thank you to those who already have and i will see you in my next video okay then bye for now